Hello world, Rebecca here with another tutorial from Inside the Square. Today I wanted to show you how you can quickly create a custom 404 error page on your Squarespace website. So really quickly, uh, what is a 404 error page and why do you need one? So an error page, a uh, little background information for you, 404 is actually the HTML response code that's triggered that says this page does not exist on this website. It's robot speak for it. Uh, but basically, it uh, assures people that they're still on the right website, this website's still live, but there's something wrong with the URL that they typed in. It's important to have one because old and broken links, they just happen. They're out there quite often. Sometimes someone will type something in wrong, or heaven forbid, you put out a huge marketing campaign and you have a spelling error front and center on all of your ads, and they end up going to your website. You want them to know they're still on the right site, there's just something wrong with that page. So uh, this tutorial is going to cover how to create a custom one using cover pages and how to set that page as your custom error page. So I wanted to show you Squarespace does have a standard error page that they put out there. This is what it says. Couldn't find the page you're looking for. This is probably why. Return to the home page, blah, blah, blah. It's nice. It works. But I like having a custom one. It's a good opportunity for you to add just a little more personality and branding to your actual site. So let's get right into it. We're gonna make a cover page, hopping into our pages menu. Then I'm gonna add this to the not linked section of my Squarespace website, so no one's gonna be able to navigate to it. I only want people to see this by accident, okay? So clicking this plus sign, I'll select cover page. And here I'll just call it 404 error page, but you can really name it whatever you'd like. That part doesn't matter too much because we'll tell Squarespace that's what this page is for. I'm sure you're familiar with cover pages by now. If not, check out my other tutorial on how to make one quite quickly, but I won't go through all the details on changing this and all of your different options. We'll just get right into a quick error page for the purpose of this tutorial, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and change this to say brand or website name. Because again, the purpose is to reassure people this is where they're, they're supposed to be going. This website's still live, so it's good to throw your brand name in there. Uh, we'll just say, oops, this is not the page you are looking for. All right, and let's change this button here. I'll click Save, the most important option. And we'll edit the action, and instead we will call this uh, Try Again. I'm going to click this Trash Can button here to remove that link. And then I'll just make this URL my home page. Okay, there we go. Select save, and then we'll go back. So you can change the image on the background too. I've got a fun one I use in my own uh, 404 error page. This is from Robert Gonzalez on Unsplash. Unsplash is a great photography site, but I love using this one for my cover page because it kind of goes in line with, this is not the page you're looking for. Anyway, total nerd moment. I'm going to fix the alignment on here really quick so it looks nice. Just going to select this horizontal positioning to the right and then center it. There we go. So now anytime someone has an error or finds an error page on this website, they're going to see this uh, stormtrooper here, have the brand name, a little heads up saying, oh, whoops, that's not what you're supposed to be seeing. And they can select try again to go home. So I'll save this and navigate back to our design menu, that's where we're going to change the 404 page that Squarespace will show. I'm going to select design, and then right down here, your sixth option down is not found 404 page. When you click on that, you'll see right now it's got the system default, but if I select this drop down, I can grab the error page that I just created. So now this is what's going to display if there's a dead link or an incorrect URL. Be sure to hit save and you're good to go. Again, we created this page in the not linked section of the website. And in your design menu, sixth option down is not found 404. That's where you select the page to show up. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, nice and quick. I highly encourage you to create your own 404 error page just to add a little bit more customization to your own Squarespace website. Intro to SEO is coming up. For more information on this free training, sign up at insidethesquare.co slash SEO.